alarming find in the Chattahoochee River. Scuba divers were in the water when they found pipe bombs. An explosive discovery in the Chattahoochee River. So that's three pipe bombs and an old mortar found in the same section of the river in just a couple of weeks. Oh my God. We came across what appears to be a pipe bomb in the river. Back up, bro. Okay. Yep. Stay back up here. Now, I didn't see any fuses or any. No, this one's capped on both ends. I didn't see any. The fire truck just blocked off the road. And the owner of the property has specifically requested that you not be allowed to come back to this property. Woo! All right, guys, let's go find some treasure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's going on guys? Adam Brownovich is here out doing another scuba diving treasure hunt today with Exploring with Nug. Hi. Everybody's favorite uh, scuba diving. Goofball. Goofball, yeah. That's, that's the word. I was gonna say joke, but goofball sounds Dang. nice. Dang! <laughs> Hardcore. But today we were walking over the bridge that we're about to dive under and we found so much stuff out here. We just keep coming back for we're more and more. Did you know I found a Persian dagger sheath here once? But if you guys want to see all the other cool stuff we found, you can go to the links in the description and check out what else we found here. Uh, it's, it's nuts, but we're walking down now. It's pretty hot outside, so I'm ready to get in that water and cool off, but let's find some treasure. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on another river treasure adventure. Today is going to be a crazy one. This is a river that we've gone to a lot and we keep finding crazy stuff. That's spooky. I looked at it and I was like, oh, oh no. You never know what you can find when you go diving in a river, but that mystery is what drives me to keep searching. So I found a paint roller, some ammo, and I found this old Coca Cola bottle. And right near it, I found this metal plate, which kind of looked like a name plate of some sort. And I also found another bottle. So I kept diving around, and I found what I think used to be a payphone. I'm still not exactly sure what this is. It's some type of cylinder metal tank. Maybe for welding or a fire extinguisher. I'm not sure. And of course, it's never a scuba diving adventure if you don't find a golf ball. <laughs> also found this tire. I'm not quite sure what it goes on to, though. Whenever I'm out diving, I also try to clean up as much trash as possible. And there is always a good bit of trash in the river. I do not know what this thing is. <laughs> but I think this is at the top to an incense burner. So I found this old pocket knife, which was cool, and then I found something amazing. Check this out. So I believe this is a sign from the 1950s, but I'm not quite sure on the value. If you guys know, leave a comment. That's pretty cool. I don't think it's really old though. Ooh, a bottle. I don't know what kind of bottle that is, but it's cool. Ooh, what is that? So when I saw this piece of rock, I swear it was a gun, but it just broke apart. So I guess that answers that question. 
And I found this part of an old, like, milk jug looking thing. That was interesting. And another cool Coke bottle. Oh, look at that. You see that on the camera? What's that with it? I need your opinion on something because you found something that looks like this before. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Um, here's the thing though. <laughs> it's kind of stuck on a rock over here. It's stuck, huh? And it kind of looks like another pipe bomb. <laughs> Do you a big mark fat that? one, yeah. I have it marked. But it's like really stuck on the rocks. So, I want you to take a look. It looks a big fat one. Like, it looks like what you found. Well, I know that there's one out here that I seen and never grabbed. Like, in my, when I was editing that one, that one video, uh -huh. I noticed that I had my hands on a second one but didn't realize it was. So, there's still one out here. So, you may have found that one. I'm not 100% sure, but that's the shape of it. You got a pipe bomb? Not moving. Yeah. You think it's a pipe bomb? Is it a pipe bomb? Oh my god! Yeah, I came across this thing, and that's that. I think that's the one that we was that the one that I I couldn't find before. You saw before? Yeah. I was like, ah, oh, I just have to, because that's I mean, exactly what the other one looked like that I found. That is scary. That's a big, that's that, yeah, if that one went off, that'd be nuts. Um, I kind of don't want to hold this. I don't see a fuse on there. No, no, that, that's what's, it could be, yeah, that, yeah, it's just, it's, I don't know. It's all kinds of spooky. All right, guys, so I'm a little bit freaked out because me and Jeremy just came across what appears to be another pipe bomb. Now, y'all be the judge, but we found them out here before and we found live, you know, mortars. <laughs> This is what it is, and I know I shouldn't be holding it. We gotta figure out what to do. We're trying to uh, get our game plan together, because, I don't know, do you think we should call the police? Or at least call the guy, the bombs squad guy that... You got his number? Before. I, I still have his number, yeah. Uh, All right, guys, we just got back to the truck, and it was a pretty crazy day today. I didn't find, like, an insane amount of stuff, but we found a potential pipe bomb. As you can see, it's over there, and we are gonna give the police a call here shortly. But let me show you my other finds real quick. This is a really cool sign. I think Jeremy actually found this before, but he wasn't able to pull it up that day. So I got it out today. I think that's really cool. Triple A approved motel. Also got a couple, some trash. It's an old Budweiser can. Some old Coca-Cola bottle and a Byerly, a Beerly. How do you pronounce that? I'm not sure. Also got an old pocket knife and a little Bluetooth speaker. Of course, a golf ball and uh, some, some other random things, sardines. So uh, that was pretty cool. This hammer I found, I'm gonna try to restore that, but that is all my finds, guys. I think that was really cool. And now we're about to give the police a call and see what they have to say about that pipe bomb because we found the explosives here before. We found pipe bombs here before. We found old World War One or Two mortar here before. And the, the bomb squad's been out here twice already, so that's very likely another one of those bombs. You know, every time we come out here, we keep finding more and more. So we're gonna give them a call and see what they have to say. Yeah, police and fire. Hey, uh, my name is Adam Brown. I'm like a scuba diver, and I was calling because it's not an emergency, but we came across what appears to be a pipe bomb in the river. Okay, I'll let our officers uh, and our fire department know. 
All right, thank you, sir. I'm not sure if it's the same as last time, the same officer or not, but we're gonna see. Where's it at? Uh, it's way down there in the corner. And we're not, you know, entirely sure, but based on last time when we found them, it appears to look the same. So we figured it'd be best to give you guys a call and look at it again. Down there in the uh, straight down there in the corner. Okay. Near the woods down there. All right. So we just wanted to try to get as far away from everybody as we could. I get, I get it. Do me a favor, back up, bro. Okay. Yep. All right, just stay back up here. All right. What's going on? We found. Stay inside. Someone might have found a pipe bomb down here. Oh, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> Are we allowed to leave? I'm leaving. This is crap. This is what's going on. Not There's not no freaking pipe bomb. There are. We found one. We ran down the next floor about 30 days ago. Well, we found more before. We found yes, more before. That's. Trying to help out. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she was mad. We got the fire truck coming in over here. Are they blocking up the road? Oh, dude, they're blocking off the road, Britton. They're blocking it off. Look, the fire truck just blocked off the road. He's backing up. Oh, he's okay. Looks, looks uh. Yeah, looks a suspicious. Looks suspicious. And look, because yeah. we found one just like that last time we found the mortar. Yeah. And like. Y'all yeah. were the ones who found the mortar. Yes, yeah. sir. Okay. I don't think you're going to be welcome back here. Probably not. He's <laughs> telling him to back up. Yeah, we, we were scuba diving and found another pipe bomb in the river. We found one three weeks ago as well. This is the fourth one we found Oh my god. Okay, so they are all walking down right now going to check it out. Okay. Uh, it's a pipe bomb we found scuba diving in the river. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Through, yo, we're diving down there. So we go out diving, cleaning up trash, just having a good time, you know. Get, yeah. And uh, we came across the pipe bomb in like a crevice of a rock. And uh, we knew immediately from the shape of it, you, you know, it looks suspicious. And we, it's hard because it's so, It's, it, it's you know, a weird shape, but, and, yeah. and the last ones we found were really thin. Mm. And they still had the fuses in them. So and they had like, fuses yeah. in them, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we'll figure it out. We got some a bomb sack coming to check it out, so we'll go from there. Well, we appreciate it. Yeah. Although I am curious as to why someone who thinks they have something sensitive would to bring it from the river to a crowded parking lot. Sounds like reckless conduct. I like we put it over there in the parking lot. It's, it's in the woods of it. It's in the woods, basically. So I don't know. We're still learning. You know, we're not we're professional scuba divers, not bomb experts. How's it going, you guys? Oh, oh God. How's it going? Hey. We meet again. Yes. So what time did y'all find this? About? It, it is a hazardous thing. That's why they've called us. Otherwise. Mm -hmm. It could just be thrown in a trash can or something like that. And please don't do that either. But um, yeah. so. And the owner of the property has specifically requested that you not be allowed to come back to his property. Not oh, yet. Okay. okay. All right. I'll do it. Um, so, uh, where was it found in the river? It's the same. Um, it, it was right in the dead middle. The dead middle on this upstream on this of, side. This, of the walking bridge. So it was like, it was pretty close to the the first one we found, the, the, the day the mortar was called in. And then that other pipe bomb, which looked identical to this one. Y'all didn't see any fuses or any... Anything? No, this one's capped on both ends. I didn't see any. Like, yeah, like it's, that little ones. it's pretty corroded on half of the middle, so there might be, but not from what we can see. I'll no, check sir. it out. Thank you. Okay. I think he put, did he put it in the box? I think he put it in the box and is walking with it. Now the fun's really going to be in. We formally trespass. 
and all that. See ya. All right guys, so the bomb squad and the police and fire department just came, took the bomb and left. And uh, once again, shout out to Cobb County. They're a great uh, experience. We didn't have any issues and we always appreciate their time and coming out. Whenever we find crazy things like this, but uh, it was a cool adventure hanging out with Britton and Jeremy. If you guys want to help support all of our channels, you can subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll have everybody's links in the description. But until then, see you guys on the next adventure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah? Oh yeah, we got trespass. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jeremy, I need an intro for this video. You got any ideas? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs>